Good day. Bump five and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Just been dropped off on the Albion Highway and I'm headed from the Sullivan's Rock up to Monadnock today. So this is going to be a lovely day. Sullivan's Rock. You get some beautiful views up here. A lot of flies at the moment. It's this. This is beautiful. Unfortunately, you can still hear the highway, but it doesn't take away from the views. And you can hear all the birds in the background tweeting away. Worth the climb. Even though it was only a short one, always worth it. Off the spur trail over Sullivan's Rock and back onto the Bibbulmun track heading north and straight away you've got your incline it's beautiful a bit rocky the tracks here watch in places where you're going to be putting your feet and it is advisable to use the walking poles which I'll be getting off my chest shortly it will make it so much easier going up
F S Sullivan's Rock. I see we're on an incline now. If you look on your Google's map, they don't show Mount Vincent all the time. But Mount Vincent is the first one, and then we'll decline slightly, and then we'll go up Mount Cuspert after that. That wasn't so easy. Just going down Mount Vincent there. A lot of loose, lo uh, loose rocks and sand. So the camera went away and the walking poles came out. That's why there's no video from the top coming down. But still the scenery up there is fantastic. And now we're heading that way. We just finished coming down for the Vin Mount Vincent and now we're slowly going back up to Mount Cosper. about halfway up Mount Cuthbert. <sighs> Track hasn't been too bad. That's the odd rock here and there, gotta watch out for. But the track's been fairly, um, fairly clear, should I say, fairly level. Not much washed away, things like that. We are going up slowly. Not as harsh as we did coming down Mount Vincent. Uh, that's the way we're heading up that way see oh we're nearly there and i can just see the peak amount cost but so about halfway We stopped going up and now we started going down again and Mount Crossbutt is looking bigger and bigger and bigger the closer we get and the further down we go.
Oh, fantastic. Was that you at the top of Mount Cosbert? I could have stayed there all day and all night. Now, coming down the north side of Mount Cosbert, a couple of little bits where you're going to have to be careful with the rocks and the stones and a bit steep. But in general, as you can see the track behind me, it turns into that and it has eased off. So let's hold this tripod, excuse me a moment. Yeah, it's eased off, so it's a lot easier coming down now. Yeah, I've taken my time and I think I'm about three kilometers away from having had knots. And the time is just after 11. So we're stopping to sit up there for a good 20 minutes, half hour at the top of Mount Cluster and stopping to take videos, take some photos. Three hours isn't bad, so because I started at about eight o'clock. But I'll just take it easy now into my nut knots. I'll tell you one thing, there's a lot of the wildflowers still out. We're on November the 4th, 2021 in Western Australia on the Bibbulm track if you don't know where I am. And some of the little orchids are still out. I don't know much about flowers, but I know these or some of these orchids could somebody show me them. Uh, these yellow ones, which look like big buttercups to me, or big uh, small pansies, just all, all yellow. So that's my description of flowers in the bush. All I know is they just look fantastic. And in the mornings when you're walking, you can just smell them. You can as it starts to warm up in the day, and then it's just. Yeah, it's an extra sense of uh, beauty of the Bimbo Track or the Western Australia bush or basically any bush in Australia. So I'll see you in a little while. I made it to Monadnox. Walk today from Sullivan's Rock was really, really nice. So I took my time. It took me about four and a half hours to take my time. And that's sitting at the top of Mount Cosbert, just relaxing, looking at the view. The first part of the, uh, the track coming over the uh, Sullivan's Rock, a little bit steeper than I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. Yeah, I made it up there fairly easy. And then it was just the walk up uh, Mount Vincent. That was a bugger, that was. That really, uh, really tested me. I didn't remember that from last time when I came the other way. It's still worth doing because you walk up them, the mountains and the views are just beautiful. Maybe at the bottom, half or at the very top. You, you can just see for miles, you can. Just miles and miles. And Mount Cusper, well, what can I say? Uh, that's the sort of place you can lay bowl of swag out and just stay there day after day. It's just so beautiful up there. Uh, from Mount Cusper to Monadnox, it wasn't that bad. The track was fairly decent. A couple of little bits where you om and ah which way you meant to go. But if you just walk up one and have a look back, you'll see the vogel on the back of the tree. So fairly, like I said, they, they could do better with the vogels with the sign to show you which way, which way to go, but managed it, managed it without getting lost or having to check the e-perb or whatever. 
uh, with the tracker. So, yeah, beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you haven't subscribed, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification button, select all. Click the thumbs up button. Share with all your mates. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Have some fun and take care.